All right, so time to train. As we go in the course, as always, we want to start off with our student creed. So everybody, neutral stance, position, step. And student creed number one. Number two, I intend to develop self-discipline in order to bring out the best in myself and in others. Number three, I intend to use what I learn in class constructively and defensively to help myself and my fellow man and never to be abusive or offensive. And courtesy. Excellent job, team. All right, so we're going to start right off. Quick set of jumping jacks. Ready, set, and 25 jumping jacks with me. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four. Five, good, and now we're just gonna do squats for about 30 seconds. Remember with squats, I want my hips back, my knees should be behind my toes, look at the straight line. And set up my knees coming forward and my heels coming off of the ground, right? It should be that my heels stay flat and I'm squatting backwards with my hips, that something's behind me and I'm going to sit my bottom on it, right? 30 seconds with me, ready, go down and back up. Your legs moving a little bit, forward work on our stances. Basic stance we'll be working this week will be the hard bow stance. And just working on getting the heel on the ground, locking out the back leg, and then making sure we're turning our hip into each and every punch instead of just leaning. Right? About 10 more seconds. Keep moving. Good. All right, so now right from here, hard bow stances. We're going to put our feet. Double shoulder with part, just like we would with a horse stance, right? But now I bend my knees outward, so we're going to a horse stance first. And now as we turn to our hard bow, my heel's on the ground, my back leg's locked out straight, and then I turn right into it. And then I turn the other direction. So I turn, my left heel kicks out, I turn right into this direction, my hips are forward, and now I turn right heel kicks out, good. And then turn, other side kicks out. I forgot I'm mirroring you guys. So this would be turn towards your right. Your left heel should be on the ground. Left leg is locked out straight. And then turn towards your left. Right heel is on the ground. Right leg's locked out straight. Right? And then turn again to the right and lock out the left leg. Turning into the left, locking out the right leg. Now from here we add on a punch. So we're going to start with a punch with our right hand. We extend the punch out. And then turn, punch with your left hand. And then switch, punch with the right hand, the punch leads, and then turn, punch with the left hand. Be conscious of the heel being on the ground, leg locked out straight, and my hip turns, right? So my body is facing this way, and then my body's facing that way. Instead of my body's facing forward, and my stance is just turning from side to side, right? So let's start all over again. Hands are chambered back tight. Start with your right hand. So you punch with your right, and then switch, punch with your left. And then switch, punch with your right, and then switch, punch with the left. And then switch punch with your right, and then switch punch with your left. So let's do it explosively now. So now when I say go, tia, punch back. So ready? Go, tia, 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 go, tia. A couple more without me. Ready? Go, go, go. Lock it right out. Go, go. Nice. Go, Keenans are all in unison. Go, go. All right, good. So now we're gonna go to our front kicks, right? Basic kick of the day is our front kicks. We're technically on week one. We're going back into the new rotation of curriculum. So what I'd like you to do is either grab a wall, right? Or something that you can hold onto somewhere is we do some leg extensions. So you're just gonna hold the leg up and then you're extending the leg out for one, two, three, Four, five, and then you're gonna switch. And you're gonna hold your right leg, tuck it up and extend it out. Two, three, four, five, and then switch again, left leg, tuck it up, extend it out. Two, three, four, five, and then switch, left leg, and extend it out. One, two, three, four, 
side and one more time on either side. Ready? Left leg, extend it out. Two, three, four, five, and left leg. Tuck it up or other leg, extend it out. Two, three, four, five, back in and down. All right, so now from here, working our balance on the front kick. So instead of just tucking and extending it out, we're gonna do it on a four count. So it's gonna be one, and then two, and then three, and then four, we set the leg down, right? So ready, hands are up. We'll start with the right leg. We're adding one, hold it up, and then two, three, and then four. And again, same leg, one, two, hold it, three, four. And again, hold it up, a little longer, two, three, hold it, four. And one more time, ready, up, hold it up. And then two, extend it out, hold it, three, and then four. Left leg now, ready, tuck, and then extend, and then in, and then down. And again, same leg, ready, tuck, and extend, hold it, in, and then down. A little longer, ready, up, out, in, and then down. Hold that balance. All right, last one, best one, longest one, ready, up. And then out. Hold it, hold it, in, and then down. All right, so now back to our right leg, and this time going fast. So on each count, for the kick, and then right back down. Last week we did them as thrust kicks. This week I want to see you do them as snap kicks. So remember the difference, a thrust kick, I hold it out, and then I'm back down. The snap kick, I fire, and then right back. So now it's a snap kick, fire fast, ready? Go, right leg kicks, and then down. Go, go. Go, go, and now your left leg, right leg, ready? No, this is your left leg, ready? Go, 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 back to the right leg again. Go, 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 back to the left leg again. Go, 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 and set, and courtesy. Nice job, team. Relax stance for, actually, let's jump into quick blocking. Uh, we're just gonna hit the inward blocks for today. We're just gonna do them from our core stance, and we're gonna do them from what we call moving basics as well. So with our core stance, of course, our feet, toes shoulder width apart, knees are bent, backs up tall. I'll move back just a little bit, right? And then hands come back tight against the ribs. So inward blocks from here, I bring my right hand up and I go straight across the center line. Left hand comes up and then block across. Right hand comes up and then across. Left hand up and across. Right hand up and across. Left hand up and across. Fast with the inward blocks. Go, tia, go, tia, go, tia, go, tia, go, tia, go, tia, go, tia. Go, tia. And now what we're gonna do is from position, start in position, moving basics. So when I say go, you're gonna step back with your right leg, inward block with your left hand, right? And we're doing this as if we're mirroring. So it should look just like you're looking in the mirror, basically, when you're looking at the screen. Ready, position, and you're gonna step backwards with your right, block with your left. And then go back to position, and step back left, right, block with left. And then back to position, one more slow. Step back with your right foot, block with your left, as you go right to your horse stance. And then back to position. So now fast, when I say go, tia, block nice and strong. Ready, go, tia, position, tia, go, tia, position, tia, go, tia, position, tia, go, tia, position. Now step back with the other side. So you're gonna step back with your left side, inward block with your right hand, right? And step back with your left, inward block with the right. Back to position, step back with the left, inward block with the right. Back to position, one more slow. Back with the left, inward block right. And then back to position. Let me see it strong now. Go, tia, position, tia, go, tia, position, tia, go, position, tia, go, tia, position, tia, once more, go, tia, position. Tia, set, courtesy. All right, from here, for white belts, 
you guys are all set for the day if you want to be. Of course, you can continue going. There's nothing wrong with sticking around and going a little bit longer, but you're set for the day if you wish. Yellow and orange belts, moving into your curriculum. The next level of curriculum for yellow and orange belts will be XMA Form 1. So breaking into some of the basics that you guys need, and then for intermediate team, this is going to build into what you guys need. And actually, even for the advanced team, it'll um, kind of leapfrog into what you guys are doing with commas as well this time around. So let's start off first. We're going to just go back to our hard bow stance. So go hard bow stance, and we're going to start off. Uh, let's do it, start off this way, actually. So hard bow to the right. Left leg is locked out straight. Heels are on the ground. But this time, what we're going to do is a chop from what we call a reverse hard bow. Now, if I punch this way and I'm in this hard bow, this is a regular hard bow stance because the strike is going in the direction of the way I'm facing. It's called the reverse hard bow if the strike is going in the opposite direction that I'm facing. So when I do a chop this direction, it's referred to as a reverse hard bow, all right? Now from here, we're gonna switch our stance, we're gonna touch our shoulder, chop in the other direction, all right? So now your right hand is chopping, your left hand is chambering tight. And now touch your shoulder with your left, chop with the right. Touch your shoulder, I'm sorry. Touch your shoulder with your right, chop right. Touch your shoulder left, chop left. Touch your shoulder right, chop with the right. But we turn to face the left, right? Touch your shoulder with your left, chop with left. Touch your shoulder with your right, chop right. Touch your shoulder with your left, chop left. Right? Touch your shoulder right, chop right. Touch your shoulder left, chop left. Right? So now um, let's keep doing it, but I'm going to turn and face the other direction. So now this would be as if you're right behind me, we were in class together, and I'm in front of you, and you're looking directly at me, right? So from here, hard bow stance, facing our right, our left, and now my right hand chops. And now I touch with my left hand, I chop with the left as I turn my stance. Touch with the right hand, chop as I turn my stance. Touch with my left hand, chop as I turn my stance. Touch with the right, and then chop. Touch with your left, and then chop. Touch with your right, and then chop. Touch with your left and then chop. So now you're just gonna go chop and then chop and then chop and then chop. Ready, go. Chop, 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 chop. Lock the stance out each time. Chop, 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 chop. Couple more. Chop, chop, and relax, right? So reverse hard bow chops. XME form one. The reverse hard bow chop is actually the very first move just about in the cotton. You do it a couple of times over. So it's important that you get those things down, right? Um, now we're gonna go from the reverse chop right into the punch. So we're gonna start in a horse stance again. Touch your shoulder with your right, chop with the right, but now you're gonna punch with your left hand. And now touch your shoulder with your left, chop with your left, punch with the right hand. Touch your shoulder right, chop right, punch with your left. Touch your shoulder left, chop left, punch with the right. Touch your shoulder right, chop right, punch with your left. Touch your shoulder left, chop left, and then punch. So touch, chop, punch. 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 Look at the nice straight line on my arm. On the punch, there's no turned wrist this way or that way. Touch, chop, and look at the chop. Even with the shoulder, instead of fingers down or up, or apart, or just sloppy, or down here, right? Strong chop, and then punch. And touch, chop, punch. Touch, chop, punch. Touch, chop, punch. So now it's gonna go one, two, three. All on one count, ready? Go, one, two, three. Go, one, two, three. Go, one, two, three. Go, one, two, three. So now let's go faster, but pause on the chop. So it's chop, punch. Chop, punch. Chop, punch. Chop, punch, chop, punch, chop, punch, chop, punch, chop, punch. Get all the way to that shoulder first though. Chop, punch, chop, punch, chop, punch, chop, punch, chop, punch, chop, punch, chop, punch. Once more, chop, punch, and relax. Shake out the arms for a second. And then come back to your wall. All right, so now roundhouse kick. Extensions. With roundhouse kick extensions, of course, I need to go this way on the wall because I can't just lean against the wall. The wall is going to get in my way, right? Um, so, but I am going to bring over my friend, the chair. 
This way you do mine side to side, right? So from here, pick a leg, grab a chair, grab a wall, hold on to it, and we're doing roundhouse kicks. So my bottom foot faces the chair. My other leg, I want to pull my knee way, way back. So it's pointing the exact opposite direction, right? So one foot is pointed that way. My knee is pointed that direction, right? And now from here, I just extend it out and then bring it back. Extend it out and look how my toes are pointed. It's not a side kick, right? It's a roundhouse kick. Point the toes back. Extend it out, hold it out there, and then back. Extend it out, hold it out, and then back. A little bit higher, ready? Hold it up there above the waist, and then back, hand down. And now switch other leg. So, same thing, back toes towards the chair or towards away from the direction you're kicking. My other knee, I pull it way, way back, and I'm gonna point it in the direction the kick goes. The higher I point my knee, the better. For here, all I do is I extend the leg out, and that's where my kick is gonna go. But if my knee is pointed here, then of course that's where my kick goes, right? So pull the knee out, and then extend it out, and then back in. And extend it out, two, three, and then back in. Four count, ready? Extend it out, two, three, four, and then back in. And five count, ready? Extend it out, two, three, four, five, and now back in and down, all right? So now, let's set the chair out of the way, and form kicking with roundhouse kicks. So now our hands are up, bottom foot is turned away from the direction of the kick, we'll kick with our right leg first. So I turn the left toes this way, and now I point my knee, I extend the kick, and then I come back in and I set it down, right? I tuck the knee, I extend the kick, back in, and then down. Tuck the knee, extend the kick, back in, and then down. One more slow. Tuck the knee, extend the kick, in, and then down. So now fast, so on each count, I lean back, I fire the kick. Ready, go, tia, and then right back. Go, tia, go, tia. Go, tia, go, tia. Now the same thing with the other leg. Let's go slow first. So you're gonna talk, extend, back in and down. Hopefully yours look better than mine just did. Ready up, extend, in, and then down. And then up, extend, up, in, and then down. Ready up, extend, in, and then down. And one more time. Up. Extend, in, and then down. And now fast, ready, go. Kick, and then right back. Go, kick, and then down. Go, kick, and down. Go, go, one more, go. And now back to the right leg, but this time working our balance even more. So now you're gonna do double kicks. So every time I say go, you're gonna lean back, fire two kicks, and then set the leg right back down, ready, on your own, ready, go. One, two, let's see who's got awesome kicks. Go, nature, nice kicks. Go. That's it, go. I can see Sonny kicking. Go, I'm guessing that's Sammy's foot that I see, I don't know. Go. One more time, go. Oh, Miss Bowenick with the awesome kicks. All right, so now switch other leg. Same thing, double kicks again, so I lean back, one, two, set the leg right back down. Ready, go, lean back, kick, kick, and then down. Go, one, two, and then down. Go, one, two, and then down. Go, one, two, go. That's it, Natra. Go. Go, come on, at least to the waist, get those kicks up there. Go. All right, now back to the right leg one last time. Three kicks this time. So you're leaning back, pumping out one, two, three, and then set the leg down. Ready, go, lean back, pop, pop, pop. Set the leg down, and go. 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 Ah, I missed that one. Go. Go. See how awesome your legs are looking. Go. Nice, one more time on that one, go. And now other leg, same drill. So now left leg is kicking, right leg is that way. Triple kicks, ready, 
go. One, two, three, and then set it back down. And go. 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 Oh, I only got two that time. Ready? Go. And go. Let's see how your kicks look. Go. One more time. Go. And then set. And courtesy. Excellent work, team. All right, so match that time. Quick stretch if you need to. And then we'll get into the intermediate level curriculum. As we go into the mat chat, I want to talk a little bit about our circles of influence. Right? We have things that are inside of our circle of influence. We have things that are outside of our circle of influence. Right? If we try and think about things that we may have that are inside of our circle of influence, right? if we think about the things that we eat, right? the things that we say, the things that we think about, the things that we do, those things are inside of our circle of influence. Right? Who we hang out with, who we listen to, who we talk to, who we associate with, those things are inside of our circle of influence. It's things that we tend to believe inside of our circle of influence, right? Things that other people say, things that other people do, things that other people believe, inside or outside of our circle of influence, right? Obviously outside of our circle of influence, right? What other people are doing, we can't influence. The weather, outside of our circle of influence. Today's a beautiful day. It's easy to be happy on a beautiful sunny day. Can you be just as happy even if it's rainy and cloudy and snowing, right? There are things that we can't affect. Why do we want them to affect our emotional state, right? So what we want to think about is what is inside of our circle of influence, what's outside of our circle of influence. And if something is bothering me, is it inside or outside of that circle? Because if it's outside of the circle of influence, then I have to really minimize how much that can bother me. I have no influence over it. I don't want to get upset over something that I can't control at all, right? I may be aware of it, it may bother me, but I don't want to get too upset over it, right? I can't do anything about it. Why let it ruin my day? So again, the key thing is your circle of influence and think about are we spending time thinking about our emotions, our energy, are we putting about those things into our circle of influence? Or are we putting a lot of that time, effort, and energy into things that are outside of our circle of influence that we really have no control over? So from here, that's your break for white, yellow, orange, purple, blue, green belts. You guys are all set. You are more than welcome, as always, to hang out with us for a little bit longer and continue to train. For everybody else, that was your break. Time to sweat. Let's go. All right, so next page. All right, team. Hook kicks. All right, so for purple, blue, green belts and above, practicing our hook kicks. Remember with your hook kick, it's kind of like you're hitting something and then hitting it with the bottom of your foot. So if I were to take my friend the chair and my other friend the water bottle, when I do a roundhouse kick, I hit the bottle with the top of my foot, pushing it forward off the chair. When I hit with a round or a hook kick, I'm hitting with the back of my foot, right? See how it's coming in front of the water bottle, and then I'm putting it off the chair with the bottom of my foot, right? So many times people get confused with that. It's kind of like I'm coming out and I'm going over the chair with my hook kick, right? In fact, if you happen to have a chair close by, I wouldn't use any younger siblings though, right? Then I could kind of think I come over the top of the chair, right? Without it, just pretend you have a chair there, right? And all I'm thinking of doing is we'll go with the right foot first. So we're kicking that way. Our left toes are away from the, um, and I wait for my name. Your left toes are facing that way. Your hands are up, and you're going to tuck, and then you extend, and then come back with the heel side, right? Tuck like a side kick, extend out like a side kick, come back through with the heel. Tuck up like a side kick, extend out like a side kick, and then come back through with the heel. Tuck up, extend out, through, and then down. Tuck up, extend out, through, and then down. Tuck up, out, through, and then down. Nice and slow, work your balance. Up, out, through, and then down. One more slow. Up, out, through, and then down, All right? So now fast, on each count, you just lean back, fire out your hook kick, ready, go. Hook kick. Go. Extend it out and lean back. Go. Hook kick. And then down. Go. Tuck. Hook kick. And then down. Go. 
foot kick, and then down. Go! See how amazing you guys are looking here. Go! 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 Oh, Julia's in the house. Look at her go. Seth and Elise looks good. Go! What up, Seth? <laughs> go! Go! All right, so now off to the other side. So now right toes are facing that direction. Left leg is kicking. So we're coming up, extending out, in and then down, right? So now I'm up, extend it out, and then through. Tuck it up, extend out, and then through. Nice and slow for right now. Up, out, and then through. Sit, up, out. Make sure your backhand is still staying up high. Up, extend it out. One more slow up and then out. All right, so now fast. So nine inch count tuck, part of the kick, center right back down. Let's see it quick now. Ready? Go, kick, and then back down. Go, kick, go, go, go. See your other awesome kicks we have going on here. Go, go. Nice. Go. Go. Oh, look at the Newton boys going. Go. Nice. Looks good, team. Go. One more time. Go. And then now from here, we're going to go hook kick and then come back with a roundhouse kick. So now I lean back and I go hook kick roundhouse and then I set the leg right back down. Right? So ready? Go slow at first. Ready? Tuck, hook, round, set the leg down. And go, tuck, hook, round, set the leg down. And go, tuck, hook, round, back down. And one more slow, go, tuck, hook, round, set back down. And now fast with the hook kick roundhouse. Ready, go, hook, round. Go, hook, round. Go, hook, round. That's it. Go, hook, round. Go, hook, round. Go! Go! Nice, Natra. Go! Go! Nice kick, Reed, Neve. Go! And now, other side. Let's practice the other leg. So, our right toes are facing this way, hands up. And now, left leg, hook, kick, round out. So, slow, we tuck, hook, round, back down. Tuck. Hook, round, and then back down. Tuck, hook, round. Oh, terrible balance. Tuck, hook, round. Tuck, hook, round. Up, hook, round. One more slow. Up, hook, round. All right, let's see fast now. Ready? Go! Hook, round. Go! Hook, round. Go! Go. Nice work, Sonny. Go. Go. Oh, Josiah's in the picture now. Go. Nice kick, Josiah. Go. Better keep those kicks high enough that I can see them. Go. One more time. Go. Nice. All right. And then set. Courtesy. All right, so now going back into some of the kata drilling. So with XMA form two for intermediate team. So we're gonna drill the beginning section of that now. So let's go back down to our horse stance. Ready? Quick belt check. So we're down to our horse stance. Chamber the hands back nice and tight, and you're gonna touch your shoulder, and you're gonna go reverse hard bow chop, and then punch. And then off of that, we do two more punches in that direction. And you're gonna touch the shoulder and then chop with your left hand. Punch with the right hand, punch left, punch right. Chop with the right, punch with your left, punch right, punch left. Chop with your left, punch with the right, punch left, punch right. Chop with the right, punch with the left, punch right, punch left. Chop with the left, punch with the right, punch left, punch right. Chop with the right, punch with the left, chop right, punch left. Right, right there, punch, punch. Chop with the left, punch with the right, punch left, punch right. 
So now let's go a little faster. We're gonna do it on a two count. So on one, you're gonna go chop, punch. On two, punch, punch. One, chop, punch. Two, punch, punch. Ready? One, chop, punch. Two, punch, punch. 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 Couple more at this pace. One, chop, punch. Two, punch, punch. One, chop, punch. Two, punch, punch. Good work, Alejandro. One, chop, punch. Make sure those hands come all the way back tight, everyone. Two, punch, punch. One, chop, punch. Two, punch, punch. All right, so now let's go even a little faster with that count. So shake your body out for a moment. So we're gonna start with uh, probably our right and left hand, right? Chop, punch, punch, punch. So we'll start with our right hand out. And then so on one count, you're gonna go chop, punch, punch, punch. Chop, punch, punch, punch. There's still that slight pause in between the double punch, but it's a little bit slighter than what we just did when we did it on a two count, right? So let's go a little faster now. So right hand is out. And so on one count, chop, punch, punch, punch. Ready, go. Tia, 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 tia. Go, 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 tia, 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 tia. Let me see it a couple times without me. Pull those hands way back tight. Ready, go. Go, go, punch, punch, go, go. Make sure those hands are getting all the way back tight. Go, punch, punch, go, go. That's it, Talon. A couple more, go. And last one, go. And then set, courtesy. I just realized I haven't blended any cal into this whole workout for you guys. How silly of me. We better drop and start doing some push-ups. So everyone drop, put a set of 10 push-ups with me. Ready, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then pop right back up. All right, so now right from here, we're gonna get in um, XMA form one review. For intermediate and above, the yellow and orange belt curriculum is XMA form one. So you're just gonna walk through it just like three times like we normally would in the classroom as a review. As we do it, I'm gonna turn around and face the other direction and it's gonna be just like we're in class together. So as you're looking at your screen, it's like I'm in front of you in class. And so as I'm performing, you should be doing exactly what I'm doing with the exact same hand that I'm doing it with. I think it should work out just fine. So let's see how it works out. Ready, set, XMA, form one. We bow, we step back with our right side, and then aya, shoot up, X block, roll the fingers in, hard double down the box. Head transfer, step to the left, chop, punch, punch, punch. Oh, I'm sorry, that's X up two. Chop, punch, step through, punch, hold key. And then step up, press down. Hands in a guard, side kick. Plant straight down, look over your shoulder, chop with your left, and then half key. And then front kick with the right. Step down with the right, spin through, chop with your left, knee drop punch, full key. And then we shoot straight up, X block up, double downward blocks, X main, asa. And then set, and then courtesy. And then let's do it again. Two more walkthroughs just to start getting it back fresh in your brains. Ready, set, X and A, <coughs> form one. Bow, step to the side, and then aya, shoot up, X block. Roll the fingers in, hard double down the box. Head transfer, step out, chop, punch, chop, punch, step through, punch, full key. Step up, press down. Hands in the guard, side kick with the right. Plant down, look over your left shoulder, chop, half key, back leg burn kick, spin, chop, knee drop, full key. X block up, double downward box, X main, and then punch straight up, ass up. And then set, and then courtesy, and then set back up. 
One more walk through for for blue green belts. And set. And XMA. Form one. Bow. We turn to the side. And then I out. We shoot up to an X block. Roll the fingers in. Double downward box. Head transfer. Step out. Chop. Punch. Chop. Punch. Step through. Punch. Key. Step up. Press down. Hands in a guard. Side kick. Plant. Chop. Half key. Back leg front kick. Spin through. Chop. Knee drop. Full key. Shoot up. X block. Double downward box. X and A. Asa. And then set. And courtesy. All right, so there's your three walkthroughs. We still have some time left over. That means we get to practice some jump kicks. All right, so practicing our jump front kicks first. We're going to start off with uh, our left side forward, so our room position. And then defense stance ready. So now you have your left side forward. Hold your right knee up in the air. And then from here, you're just going to jump, tuck, kick with your left leg, and then set right back down your guard. So you're going to hold your knee up, and then jump, kick, and then back down. Hold the right knee up, tuck, and jump, kick. And then back. Hold the right knee up and jump, kick, and back. One more slow. Tuck the knee, jump, kick, and then back. So now on one count, you drive the kick up, you throw, and then back. Or drive the knee up to tuck, and then throw the kick. See how awesome these jump front kicks look. Ready? Go! Go! Nice. Go! Keenan's all perfectly timed together. Go! 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 At least looks like she's gonna kick the TV or whatever you guys are watching. Go! <laughs> Go! Don't kick Joanna. Go! One more time. Go! All right, so now other side is forward. So let's practice this side. So now we're on this side and you hold the knee up and then I fire the kick with the front leg. So hold your left knee up this time and then jump, kick with the right leg. And hold the left knee up and jump kick with the right. Hold the left knee up, jump kick with the right. Hold the left knee up, jump kick with the right. Again, slow, hold the left knee up, jump kick with the right. And so now all on one count. So you're gonna tuck, part of the kick, and then right back to your guard. Ready, go, tuck, kick, and then back. Go, tuck, kick. Go, tuck, kick. Go. Go! Go! And see if Mr. Harshbarger can hit his ceiling. Go! <laughs> He's looking at it. Go! Are you close? Probably hits his head on it when he jumps. Go! Couple more times. Go! Last one. Go! Excellent work. And then set. And courtesy. And relax just for a moment. So for intermediate team or anyone else that's as far as you need to take the video in order for you to qualify for attendance, you're more than welcome to stick around. We're going to be playing around with spinning hook kicks in a moment. And then we'll get into some of the advanced curriculum, which this time happens to be commas for this rotation. Right? So for advanced team, if you happen to have commas, you're going to need them. In a little bit, we're going to do some spinning hook kicks first, and then I'll give you a minute to go grab them. Right? Um, for everyone, once again, if you didn't hear earlier, or uh, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, I want you to send your attendance at the end of the week. I have tons of videos and attendance emails still that I'm working on getting through. Tomorrow's gonna to be a huge catch up day for all of that. And so I should be able to get through everybody else's that it is sent so far. Um, from here forward with the attendance, I'd like you to send it at the end of the week instead of after every single class. So starting this week. So instead of sending me an email right away today and I have three to five emails from every person about their attendance every single time they take class, just send me one at the end of the week saying you did two A classes, two B classes, an elective class, whatever classes you happen to do. And then that way, just I can wrap it all up at once. Continue to send your videos. Uh, again, tomorrow I'm gonna have a huge video catch up day. I'm probably gonna be spending a good five, six hours just sitting down and going through emails and, and getting caught up on all the videos. So uh, thank you for sending them. Continue to send them. From here, advanced team, time to train even more. All right, so spinning hook kick practice time. So here's what we're gonna do. Let's go back to our hook kicks for a moment. So you're gonna start warming up, left side is forward, and you're just gonna throw your hook kick with your lead leg, right? So I just lean back, I throw my hook kick, I set it right back down. Lean back, hook kick, and then down. We're just gonna take about 30 seconds or so and practice your lead leg as a hook kick, right? And go, 30 seconds. Kick, and then back, kick. 
it going. See how amazing these hook kicks are looking. Nice, Nathra, good kicks. Sammy, Sonny, nice. Mr. Anderson, nice kicks, Joseph. That's it. And remember to look right where you're kicking, everyone. So if I'm looking over this way as I'm throwing my kick, I'm probably not paying that much attention. For me, when I'm looking this way, it's actually kind of cheating because I can see myself in the video and exactly how I look, right? So all the times I tell you guys, don't look in the mirrors when you're performing. That's exactly what I'm doing actually right now, right? So, but I mostly want to look right where my kick's going. If I'm looking this way and I throw the kick this way, I have no idea what it looked like, right? Switch and go to the other side now. So right leg, and now I lean back, hook kick, and I set the leg right back down. Lean back, hook kick, back down. If I were doing it on facing this way, I don't have my camera or a mirror or anything. Then I'm just here. I want to look right where my kick is going every time so I can have a sense of how it looks, right? Keep going. 8,000 more, approximately. Tail and nice kick. Good. Keenan's, you somehow went crooked on me. Okay, so time. Now we're going into our spinning hook kick. So now when we do our spinning hook kick, we're really not doing anything other than a hook kick. We're just spinning. So now I start here, and imagine like instead of me throwing my hook kick from this left, I just spun, and then I cheated and I threw it on the other left, right? So instead of hook kicking here, I just simply quick look over my other shoulder, and I hook kick you with that other leg instead, and then I just turn back, right? If you think about it, it's almost just that simple. I look over the other shoulder, I throw my kick. Right, we're here, I look over my other shoulder, I throw my hook kick. I look over my other shoulder, I throw my hook kick, right? If we wanna break it down a little slower, a little more detailed, right? If you look at my feet, what is happening is as I look over my shoulder, look how my left foot turns, right? I look over the shoulder, that foot turns. Now all I have to do is pick this other leg up and just throw a hook kick like I'm in this side forward as if I threw a hook kick and brought that leg all the way back, right? So I pivot on this foot as I look over my shoulder, and then I throw my kick, and then I come back. So we turn, look over the right shoulder, kick with the right, back to your guard. Turn, look over the right shoulder, hook kick with the right, back to the guard. Turn, look over the right shoulder, hook kick with the right, and then right back. Practice that slow. See how amazing you guys are looking. Spin and then kick. Let's see it, spin, kick. Good, Nathan, nice kick. Sammy, nice kick. Nice, let's see it. Come on, get that kick off, where is it? All right, so let's switch and go to the other side. And as we go to this other side, I want you to also make sure as you're kicking, the foot is flat across, right? So as I extend this kick out, my toes are to the side instead of pointed to the ceiling. If I go, it's a crescent kick. My hip is coming. And if that happens, my toes are gonna to be up, it's a crescent kick. I need to make sure that my foot comes through before I turn the hip through, and then it'll be a, side or a spinning hook kick, right? So now we turn, look over the shoulder, Look at your foot, make sure your toes are to the side as you come across. Turn, look over left shoulder, left leg kicks, back to guard. Look over left shoulder, kick with left, and then back. And turn, look, kick, set. Turn, look, kick, set. Turn, look, kick, set. Right, keep going, a couple hundred more. That's it, oh, Keenan's are normal again. You guys are all kicking with different legs. <clears throat> Newton's nice kick. Oh, has Liam got more extension than Evan does on that kick? I don't know. Ah, uh, I think he does. Oh, I don't know. Evan's picking it up now. <clears throat> Good, and time. All right, so now putting that into just simple kicking combinations, right? We're gonna go from our back leg roundhouse 
into the spinning hook kicks, right? We're actually, let's do it as a step through spinning hook kick first. So all that means is we're gonna put our left side forward, I'm gonna step through the right, I'm gonna do the hook kick with the left, and then I come back to my guard, and my other side will end up being forward, right? So left side is forward, step through right, hook kick left, right side's forward, and then I step back. Left side's forward, step through right, hook kick left, and then step back. Step through right, hook kick left, and then step back. Step through right, hook kick with left, step back. Step through right, hook kick left, and then step back. Let me see you guys practice that on your own. Just watch, go, step through, spinning hook kick. And then it should bring you all the way back sideways. Sammy, sunny, nice. Oh, at least you almost kicked Seth. It's probably on purpose. <laughs> I can't even watch you two. Uh, good, good, good. Looking good, team. All right, so now, from here, we're going to switch and go to the other side. Or actually, stay with that side, and let's extend the roundhouse kick out first. So now I'm extending roundhouse kick, spinning hook kick, and then I set, and then I step back. Roundhouse kick, spinning hook kick, set, and then back. On your own, go. Round, hook, back to your guard. Round, hook, back to the guard. See how you guys look. Roundhouse spinning hook kick. Where is it? Where is it? Roundhouse hook kick. Joseph, nice. Looks good. Oh, Jacob Bloom's in the house. What's up, Grizzly Bloom? Nice to see you, Jacob. All right, so let's switch and go to the other side now. All right, so now we're step through spinning hook kick on this side. My right side is forward, left leg steps through. Right leg does the hook kick, and then I plant back, right? And left leg steps through, right leg hook kick, plant back to your guard. Step back, left, right side is forward, step through the left, hook kick to the right, and then step back. Step through the left, hook kick with the right. Oh, that was a weak one. Step back. Step through left, spinning hook kick right, and then step back. Step, kick. Step, back, kick. Step, back, kick. Step, kick. All right, so now try the roundhouse kick instead of the step. So now you're doing roundhouse kick, spinning hook kick, and then stepping back, right? Roundhouse kick, spinning hook kick. That's it, let's see how you guys look on this side. Let's see. Kick, nice. Huh. Seth, you look like you're trying to hit your sister. <laughs> All right, very good. And time. So from here, we're going to jump right into comma set. If anyone has commas, grab your commas quickly now. I'll give you like 30 seconds. <laughs> Some of you guys just bolted so fast. Ah, I hope there's no fights going on in terms of who's getting whose commas. <clears throat> if you don't have commas, you're going to be able to do it just with like an open hand, and I'll explain how to do that to you. If you do have commas, um, if you do not have commas yet, uh, I am in the school Monday, Wednesday, Friday, just about all day. Uh, I run the earlier class and then I'm just doing paperwork and all the behind the scenes stuff all day long. So if you need to get commas, 
mom or dad can still swing by in the school and grab them, just please um, let me know in advance and then I'll make sure that everything is as sanitary as humanly possible and you'll get a nice clean pair of commas. Um, so grab your commas. If you do not have your commas, we're going to be doing more of the actual these types of move more so than the finger rolls and things like that. So it doesn't matter anyway. All right. Um, from here with comma handling, you should be holding the commas in the center of the comma, not all the way down towards the bottom, right? Or not all the way at the top like this either, right? So in the very center, okay? Um, as I'm using the comma, the wrist is what gets the strength out of the commas. On Fridays, we're doing a comma handling class and I'm covering a lot of those basics, how to do the chops the right way, how to do finger rolls, um, how to do the figure eight type motions, those things are all be covered in that class. So I'd highly recommend that you guys are doing that one as well during the week. Um, but on the A day or the A day for the advanced curriculum, we'll cover the form, what we're doing as well. So um, we're going to start off, everyone's going to be set. And all you going to work on doing is at first a seven chop. If I don't have commas, I'm just simply going to open my hands up and keep them on my sides. And then as I do my chop, I'm just going to have my hands open as I do the chops, right? So as you do this, we're gonna start off with our hands down to the side and we're gonna do what we would call a seven cut. It means I come across and then down, across and then down. But instead of doing it directly forward, we're gonna be doing it off to the side, right? So from here, we're gonna set, and as we do it in form, we're gonna to go to our left side first. So we're gonna go set, and then we're gonna set here, and then with our right hand, and I'll move and face the other side in a second. I, Seven cut, chop with the right hand, and then chop with the left hand, right? So from here, we're gonna set, step out. Set in a right hand block, and then you're gonna go seven cut right, seven cut with the left, right? And then we're gonna set. So from here, you're gonna step out with your left, and you're gonna set, and then I'm gonna chop first with the right. So I do my seven cut, I come across and then down, and then this other hand is up. If I turn face forward, you'll see it's right over the head, right? And then I come across and then down, right? So again, we're here set, and we step out with the left set. Chop with the right hand, flat across, and then down like a downward block, and then left hand, flat across like an inward block, and then down like a downward block. And set, step out with the left, set, chop, chop, left hand, chop, chop, and then set. And again, step out with the right, set, and then right hand, chop, chop, left hand, chop, chop, and then set. Step out with the left, set, chop, 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 and then set. And again, step out with the left, set, chop, 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 chop. And now from here, we would end up going the other direction. So then I would turn hard bow this direction, chop with the left hand, seven cut, right hand with a seven cut, right? So eventually it's gonna go set, chop, 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 right? Set, chop, 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 okay? Um, so that's the beginning of the comma form that you guys are gonna be doing. And again, the chops, the seven cut is just this, across and then down, across and then down. So if you were to draw like a seven, right? One would be a normal seven, one would be a backward seven, but that would be the motion. The other hand is gonna be up this way in a guard, like I'm doing an upward block, right? but instead of using my hand to do the block, I'd be using the weapon to kind of catch it and block, right? So as one hand is blocking, and this hand basically, if you look, if I did it without commas, it's like I'm doing an upward block, an inward block, and a downward block. But the inward block is a little bit low, and then a downward block. And then it's like I'm doing an upward block, an inward block, and a downward block. But it's not here rigid, it's more of I go this way, and then I switch hands, right? This way, and then switch hands, across and then down, across and then down, all right? So that is your class for the day. For those of you that are black belts that are jumping back on, I'll restart the, uh, that meeting in just a minute. So for everybody else, thank you so much for your participation as always. So good to see everybody's faces. I love this platform much better than Facebook Live. I can actually see you guys and how you're doing and give you guys feedback. So thank you so much for being here. Bye everybody.